We have the exposure done with Bovi raising flaps. We're going to feel for the cricoid. It's right over there. We're going to stay on this side of that anterior jugular vein. And again, we're going to make a midline approach down to the strap muscles and just below them. It's nice to find the midline raffae, but it's not the end of the world if you're a little bit off. Here is the midline raffae. So we go right to the thyroid bed. Here we are. We can use the harmonic to accelerate this. You'll see at this point, there's a little anterior jugular vein there. I'm going to actually use the harmonic to not just get me further. Yeah, so, so sometimes we get this too much tension marker. Um, and what we find is if we rotate the instrument 180, take a little tension off of it, usually in the wrist of the surgeon, it's a little less tension and it actually works perfectly well. So we've, we've done two things there. We've taken an internal, an anterior jugular vein and we've also um, finished exposing with that, with the, uh, the strap muscle. We're going to go ahead and deploy the double-sided Richardson now. Here again we have another small layer of strap muscles, the innermost level which is the sternothyroid, uh, which we can partially release in order to expose the thyroid gland. And now we have the thyroid gland exposed. Now even though we're looking at inferior pole, we like to mobilize the superior pole of the thyroid gland. It gives us a couple of advantages in parathyroid surgery. In her in particular, we have a very, we have an, an inferior parathyroid candidate, but by mobilizing the superior pole of the thyroid gland, we can pull the thyroid and in turn structures from the central neck up into the neck and out of the chest. So it gives us a little handle that we can retract things cephalically and that helps us. Babcock times two. Here's a little bit of bleeding right on the surface of the thyroid gland, so we can actually kind of cauterize that with the tip of the harmonic, leaving the tip open and just kind of touching those areas, and that seems to work well with thyroid tissue. Thyroid tissue can be very fussy with cautery, but here we just kind of spot welded a little bit of the thyroid gland. It's better to bring the thyroid to us then to go working in a deep hole. So we're going to now start to turn our attention a little bit more inferiorly. But like I said, we are, I'm still inclined to take down the superior thyroid vessels if I need to, um, if I don't have enough mobility on the thyroid. Um, here I think we're doing okay. We haven't quite seen our candidate yet a little venous structure here. And that, this now shows how nicely we can dissect. The, the tip of the harmonic is, mimics the tip of a typical dissecting instrument for neck surgery like a tonsil clam. So it's a little bit different view, ipsy to contra. From a safety perspective, we we're going to want to see the recurrent nerve. So now we've exposed the recurrent nerve. <coughs> nerve stem. One, two. Five. One, two. Five. Good. Now, something, again, the nerve tells us where the parathyroids are. The parathyroids tell us a hint about where the nerve is. If that's the nerve, which it is, um, then we can come up here now, a harmonic, and expose a little bit more of this inferior pull of the thyroid. I see some superior parathyroid here that may be a little bit bigger than it should be. Um, and that's up in here. So again, nerve is here, so superior parathyroid is right in here. You can see it moving underneath the fascia. This color is different than this color. So we're going to go ahead and explore the superior parathyroid. Here it comes. It's now exposed. We have the nerve down there, so we can make this move quite easily. Harmonic. Okay. 
And this is just a little bit larger than it should be, this parathyroid. Again, I'm, I'm, my nerve is way down yonder, so I can make most of this <coughs> being sensitive to the side of the harmonic that's hot, facing away. And you'll notice this is more brown than the yellow fat nearby. Mm -hmm. This is brown or this is yellow. I think this has almost got more purple in it, the thyroid itself. So we're going to go ahead and cut this in half. Half we're going to send to pathology and half we'll save maybe to implant later. Mm -hmm. So send this to frozen section, left superior. Mm -hmm.